Alright, welcome back. This will be the Black Ops 3 duplication glitch on PS5. Now I'm going to quickly get into this. You're going to want to download the file here, open it up, install Charles and set it up exactly how I, I do it in this video. I'll go through it. There's also a text tutorial that we will be updating within this file for PS5. But the one that's currently in this one is the PS4 one, but it's all the exact same thing. So quickly going through it. You're going to want to install Charles just like I do here now. Once it's been installed, you want to open it up and follow exactly what we do now. So click ignore on this pop-up that you get. Now, you want to go click on SSL proxy and enable SSL add and then put the host name BO3 dupes, or you can name it whatever you want, but I'm just gonna call it BO3 dupes. And the port is 8.8.8.8, so four eights. Click okay once you've done that. Now the next step is to click allow on this pop-up. If this pops up, just click allow. From there, click on tools. Go to import export settings, so down the bottom. Click on choose file. Navigate to the folder that you downloaded, so triple M, Windows, and then child settings. Click on import. Next, you want to go to file, import, same navigation and then just scroll up to it says all files and click on that file there and then you are done with the child setup so the last thing you want to do quickly while you're in charles is grab the local ip address now i forgot to do it so i'm just going to open it up real quickly and to get your local ip address is you want to hover over the help toolbar so you'll see it here go to help Ignore that proxy. This is just checking that it's set up properly. It will change from BO3 dupes to that. Go to help. So top local IP address and just click that and then note it down. You might have a couple, just write the top one. Now, you're going to want to go on the console and enter your information here. So this is in the network settings basically you want to make sure it looks like that now i'm just going through making sure this is a new account that we are duping onto so i'm just showing you this you can skip ahead if you want to see how to actually dupe it once you've set up your console and your the uh, laptop so as you can see i'm about to sign into this brand new account and then go through the process of setting it up and yeah so i'll be back once it's set up Alright, so I've just finished completed the account, the account and I've loaded Black Ops 3. Now, sorry for it being slightly laggy. I was recording with the wrong settings originally, but it should be fixed from after this clip. Now, I'm just going to go through it all quickly and show you that it is a brand new account. And yeah, sorry for the lag. But yeah, it's basically level 0, nothing's on it. And yeah, so we're going to make that the high level account. So. First step we're going to do is turn on the console and make sure we have connected it to Charles. Once you've done that, you're going to load Black Ops 3 with a high level account. Now, once you load Black Ops 3 with a high level account, you're going to wait in this screen and just wait it out. Okay, click X to start. And wait for it to connect to online services. Now again, this is on PS5. This is pretty similar to the PS4 one. I'd like to give credit to the community for basically helping out. There's been a couple different methods that are posted, but this is the one that I found easiest to do and record. 
So as you can see, this is the high level account. It's prestige 999, level 1000, prestige 12 in zombies. So you're going to want to back out to the home screen. So this screen right here. Now, once you're here, you're going to want to enter rest mode. So click on power and enter rest mode. Now this is on controller one. Still, as soon as it turns off or enters rest mode, you're going to wait. And then as soon as you can, you're going to turn the console back on using the controller. So just give it a second and then you're going to hit the console button or the controller button to turn it back on and sign back into the account that's duping so this is the high one so I'm going to sign back into that and you will load Black Ops 3 again now that will pop up just quickly on the other controller you're going to want to sign in to the low level account and back out of that on the main controller and you will get this error right here now, once you are here, you're going to want to enable SSL proxying. So click enable and then click OK. And then on the low level account, you're going to accept that message and then click X and circle really quickly and then back out to the network and turn off the network. So network and then settings and then uncheck that once you've done that you are going to go back to SSL proxying on Charles but before you do that you are going to go black back into Black Ops 3 and click X and once you click X you'll be in this screen right here and then hover over play online so once you're here back into settings network settings and turn off SSL proxy in now so uncheck that box and click OK and now you can click on connect to the internet again on your console once you've done that you can back out to the home screen and go back to Black Ops 3 this is still using the low-level account so the second controller and click X on play online and click X again once it connects to online services, you can go into multiplayer and see that your stats are there. Now, all you've got to do is make it stick. So to do that, save an emblem, do it a couple times, go to the gunsmith or the uh, calling cards and change that. To get these to save, you have to save them as well, just like I did then. And as you can see, I'm going to do the classes as well to make them save. So I'm just going to put on an attachment, change the specialist. And I'm going to look in the black market and click cancel. From there, we're going to save zombies. So we're going to go into zombies. And this is a bit laggy. But again, once it loads, go to Gobblegum and change the set. Click on anything you want. And then load a solo game. Once you've loaded a solo game, you basically want to spawn in, open the first door, and then hold the grenade. So the game ends. You can also get a kill if you'd like. But I just like ending the game really quickly and yeah that will make the zombie stats save and once you've done that you're going to go into campaign if you're save, saving campaign and just go to the safe house create a class and edit the loadouts on there and then exit and save the game once you do that you are done with the actual saving and all you're going to want to do after that is close the app and reopen it and yeah that's how you dupe on ps5 thanks to the community for helping us we hope this helps the guys that don't have PS4s to do the glitch. And yeah, I believe this will be the first PS5 video up on YouTube. I can't seem to find any tutorials online. So this hopefully will be very helpful for those that need it. And yeah, the community, hope you guys enjoy. It's been your boy. Peace out.